Welcome to World Bright Friend, where I share bite-sized messages that bring big time changes to you. I'm Wumi Ademola. More than anything, my friend, you need to know that God wants you to be healthy. 3 John 2, he says, I pray that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. One translation says, be in good health. So God wants you and me to always be in good health. And if you do fall sick or if you are sick right now, he wants you to know that he is the God who heals you. Exodus 15, 26, he says, for I am the God who heals you. As a matter of fact, he already has healed you. Over 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ took 39 painful, uh, painful lashes upon his back. And the Bible says, 1 Peter 2, 24, that by those stripes, you and I were already healed. Past tense, Isaiah 53, 5 says, by his stripes, we are healed. Yes, friend, if you were healed right now, then you are healed. So it's only a matter of how to receive what Jesus has already gotten for you and me, our healing. There's so many ways to receive divine healing in scripture. We talked about one of them last week, which is through the laying on of hands. Today, we're going to talk about another way, which is receiving healing through a point of contact. Another way you can receive your healing from the Lord is through a point of contact. Now, what is this? This is you receiving healing when you touch or you come into contact with something such as a cloth that carries the healing power of God. I'm going to say that again. Being healed through the point of contact means that you become healed when you touch or you come into contact with something such as a cloth that carries the healing power of God or that has the healing power of God flowing through it. And we see this happen so many times in the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ as well as the ministry of the apostles. First of all, in our Lord Jesus Christ's ministry, in Matthew chapter 14, let's go there. Matthew 14 verses 35 and 36. The Bible says, and when the men of that place recognized him, that is recognize the Lord Jesus Christ, they sent out into all that surrounding region and they brought to him all who were sick and begged him that they might only touch the helm of his garment. And as many as touched it, notice they touched it, not him. They touched his cloth. As many as touched his cloth were made perfectly well. So the cloth of the Lord Jesus Christ carries the healing power of God. The healing power of God flow through that cloth. And when the people touch the cloth, they became healed. We see this more clearly illustrated. I mean, power flowing through a cloth that's been anointed and that carries the healing power of God. We see this principle very clearly illustrated in the example of the woman with the issue of blood in Luke chapter 8. She was healed instantly when she touched again the cloth, the garment of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says in verse 43, Now a woman having a flow of blood for 12 years, who had spent all her livelihood on physicians, and she could not be healed from any. No doctor could heal this lady. The Bible says in verse 44 that she came from behind and touched the border of his garment, and immediately her flow of blood stopped. She became immediately healed. So you see again that she was healed the, through the power of the healing power of God that was flowing through the cloth of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ in verse 46 said, somebody touched me for I perceived power going out from me. So a cloth can be prayed for. And the moment it's prayed for, it carries the healing power of God. And that healing power of God will flow through that cloth and dispense the healing power of God to the person that is sick. And that's what we see happen with the person, uh, with the woman with the issue of blood. Also in Acts chapter 19, in the ministry of Apostle Paul, the Bible says in verse 11 that God worked unusual miracles by the hands of Paul. Verse 12 now says, so that even handkerchiefs or aprons were brought from his body to the sick and the diseases left them. The moment the handkerchief or the apron that was brought out from Paul, which I perceive he prayed for, the Bible says that immediately the diseases left them and the evil spirits went out of them. Right here in my hand, friend, I have a cloth 
a handkerchief that's been prayed for. I tell you, it carries the healing power of God. So many testimonies in our church of people believing God, believing that the moment um, um, our pastor had prayed on this handkerchief, the healing power of God went into these handkerchiefs. So many, only recently, a little boy who had been in coma, this healing handkerchief was placed upon him and he came out of that coma and is beginning to get better. I believe God that the same healing power of God that's flowing through this handkerchief is going to also heal you right now where you are. So right now, if you can just put your right hand upon this healing cloth, and I want you to believe God that just as it was with the woman with the issue of blood, immediately that sickness will stop and the healing power of God will make you completely well. Just do it. Thank you, Father. As my friend lays hands upon this handkerchief through the screen right now, your healing power flows through this cloth as it did in the day of Paul and the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. And the disease stops right now. And I decree my friend healed in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for watching today, friend. I do trust you are healed and I trust you are blessed. So, so do not forget to share this video with somebody else, especially if they need healing. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Knowing God Media. Till next time, stay blessed.